Australia is one of the leading mining nations of the world, producing 19 useful minerals from 350 operating mines. The mining industry is one of the largest economic industry in Australia, employing over 130,000 people. Let's take a look at some of the mines you can work at in Australia. The first one is the Super Pit, or more formally known as the Fimistone Open Pit Mine, which is located in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. As one of the largest open pit gold mines in the world, the mine can actually be seen from space. Mining started there in 1893 when it was just a series of small mines before being bought out by Kalgoorlie Consolidated Gold Mines, or KCGM, in 1989 to form what is now known as the Super Pit. As the Super Pit has been mining for over a century, one of the greatest challenges that it faces are the voids left by the network of historical underground workings. To detect these voids, they use Cavity Autonomous Laser Survey or CALS technology to survey for the position and size of these voids. Number 2 is the Olympic Dam. The Olympic Dam is an underground copper mine that also produces uranium, gold and silver. It is more than 450 kilometers of underground roads and tunnels and the ore mine is hauled by an automated train system to the crushing, storage and ore hoisting facilities. Operated by BHP, automation has been a main driver in lowering production costs at Olympic Dam. These innovations include an automated underground haulage system and a smart loader which is an ore carrier that uses artificial intelligence. Number 3 are the mines in the Pilbara region. Located in Western Australia, Rio Tinto operates an integrated network of 60 mines in the Pilbara region which are connected to four independent port terminals and a 1700 km rail network all supporting the mining and exporting of iron ore. Rio Tinto's Pilbara operations are known for the world's first automated heavy haul rail network called Auto Haul to move over 1 million tons of iron ore per day. They are also leaders in using autonomous haul trucks and drilling with one out of every three trucks being an autonomous haul truck and boasting a fleet of 26 automated drills. In 2019, those operations employed 12,300 people producing 327 million tons of ore. Next up is the Boddington Gold Mine. The Boddington Gold Mine is even bigger than the Super Pit and is now owned by Newmont. Boddington is an open pit gold and copper mine. The mine was actually opened in 1987 but ceased operations after 2001 before resuming again in 2010. The gold production is expected to last until 2036 and the copper production is expected to last until 2035. Next up is Gemco. Gemco is one of the world's largest and lowest cost manganese ore producers. It is an open cut mining operation that is 60% owned by South32 and 40% by Anglo-American. The operation uses a fleet of 777 cat haul trucks and excavators to extract the ore. After processing and washing, the ore is transported to a port facility via road train where it is then shipped to customers around the world. So there you have it. These are just 5 examples of mines you can work at in Australia. With over 350 operating mines there, there's bound to be jobs for everyone. Which country do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.